say that we've, we've had a lot of discussion today about the word affiliate, what it, what it does and doesn't mean, and how it's evolved. You know, it's you know, kind of used to be known as like the typical cashback loyalty sites, but a definition has gotten a lot broader. I think when I first met you, you were leading the affiliate team at Uber, and you're now leading the performance partnerships team. Ashwin, you lead business development with, with Airbnb. I'm just kind of, I'm interested for you to describe the makeup of your partners today. Like, what, how would you describe them? Um, maybe starting with you, Ashwin, I know you think about your partners in different categories, for yeah. example. Yeah, I mean, I'll focus on the demand side of the business because that really accounts for the, the majority of our affiliate activity today. The supply is still relatively nascent and growing. Um, but on the demand side, uh, we think about a couple broad categories. One is just travel shopping. Where are people going and looking for accommodations? And does it make strategic sense for us to put our brand there? Um, another one is like what we call ecosystem partnerships. These are other travel providers. It could be planes, trains, automobiles, um, anywhere where Airbnb might be a, a viable complementary offering where people are gonna be thinking about accommodations as a next step or uh, a step alongside it. Uh, another uh, category we think about is uh, content, um, and that's a very broad category, but there are a lot of, uh, we have a partner uh, that's focused purely on traveling with pets, for example, um, and it's a very large use case, um, and you wouldn't think that it would uh, drive business, but it does, uh, because people care about their pets, and so um, what are the different verticals that we can think about that might drive specific uh, business objective for us. And then finally, we have like what we call like vertical specific partnerships, whether, you know, the partnerships that can help uh, our various business teams accomplish their goals. For example, we have a whole team focused on business travel. And are there business travel communities and publishers that might help get the word out about Airbnb for business? Um, so those are just a few classic examples of the partners that we have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we. You know, we take a pretty holistic view. We don't really have a partner mix that we look at at a high level and go, how are we in coupons, how are we in cashback and others? It's a more like our reevaluation of how we operate is to say, we're trying to take our value proposition and make that proposition understandable and actionable in another context. Uh -huh. And so for us, our partners are, it's not, it's valueless generally for to have a partner where someone is searching for Uber, I don't want an affiliate or a partner there. Mm -hmm. When someone is thinking about saving money, yeah, that makes sense. When you're trying to go somewhere, that makes sense. When you're hungry, yeah, I definitely want to be there. So for us, our, our kind of partner mix is around being present at that point in your life where we are relevant and we are the right choice. And so we've evaluated it that way. And that's whether it's a referral, so kind of, I think I have this concept of the performance marketing pyramid where you have at the top is your most bespoke biz dev deals. You get through your kind of bigger affiliates through smaller long tail ones and the very bottom is referrals. Referrals is one to one or one to a few. That's you telling your friend all the way up to the one to millions biz dev where it's get very, very bespoke past that is not our area, but everything in between is about putting our context in the right moment. So that's why we run referrals now, the performance partnerships team, it's because it's the same thing. I need to go ahead and make every single driver become a refer. And someone who says, I'm having a great experience with Uber and I want my friend to be a part of that experience. And it's knowing how my, and I know how to make my friend understand it and to take the context in my life and make it relevant to them. And it's the same thing in a money saving blog. It's the same thing where we work with bigger partners that are trying to make our value proposition apparent to someone searching for a job. Mm -hmm. That's the way that we look at it. We want them to understand you don't just have to have a job because Uber is not a job, but it is an opportunity to make money. We should be there. Yep, yep. So when we think about uh, the importance of identifying and recruiting new partners, I have to assume that's got, got to play a big role mm -hmm. in your growth strategies. And then we think globally, how are you executing on identification, recruitment globally? And maybe Keith, this might be a good question to you because I know you're passionate about structure for your organization in terms of, of how you mm -hmm. go about doing that. 